next person to get the award is Rob Bartholomew. And Rob, please come up. When I uh, when I think of Rob and uh, Hotter Blooming, both back to Indianola here in the 1970s and stuff, but Rob had this really unique bloom that I, I don't know if I wasn't the one who started. You flew it for a long time, but he had a solid blue envelope with two banners on it, and the banners were of two hogs with their nose crossing, and it said, hogs are beautiful. <laughs> it was a, such a distinctive bloom and uh, design that uh, I think many people who think of Rob would think of that too. So, at any rate, Rob, uh, why don't you come up and tell them your story? Well, things have changed a lot in 40 years. Uh, my first flight in the Nationals was in 74. And uh, the way they did it back then, the first two or three days, they give you a bag and you go out in the country and fly in and drop it up the exit Simpson College, called the CNTE. And uh, that's how you got qualified to keep on going. So one of the first mornings that we was going to fly, it was very windy and we all figured we wasn't going to fly. And I'm laying in bed in Carlisle at my home and I in an old radio station said, the balloons are flying. So I called my crew and I said, balloons are flying. So we hurried and got to the and picked our bag up and it was very windy. Uh, went out to the northwest. The wind was blowing from the northwest towards Simpson College. Uh, had one of the crew members go into the farmer's house and call weather, see what the wind direction was, because we didn't know what pie balls was then. And I remembered uh, taking off. We burnt the balloon. It was very windy. And I remember the guys more experienced than I was, saying, boy, when you come in over the target, them baggies really drift. He says, you got to really lead them. So we got off the ground, and we, by accident, we headed right towards Simpson College in the X. And so we're coming in over Iowa Street about two blocks before the X, and I remember they said, boy, these baggies really drift. So I threw my baggie out and went right down on uh, Iowa Street. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, you know what, it was amazing. I was two blocks off and I still qualified. <laughs> but then a few years later, we, got, we found out that you could use pie balls. And so that was a great help in ballooning. And then after that, we had radios. And I remember one national that we couldn't use our radios while we flew. We could use them when we uh, got on the ground and talked our crew. And then in the later years, GPSs. And here I'm walking to the pilot meetings these last three or four years, and all these younger pilots are carrying laptops and all this stuff. And they said, Rob, you got to get in the program or you're never going to do any good anymore. <laughs> so I put my map on my iPad last year, and that didn't work. And then I put it on this year, and my first flight I got over here, I lost my map. I had to get somebody to get back on my iPad. <laughs> so I come from the old school. Not growing up in computers, but it's been a wonderful 40 years, and I hope we can keep flying for a while.